I'm back, Kendra. You was there before? I need better light, boo. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. I'll have to stand. Okay, that's better. Thanks. I don't think I remember you. What's um, your name? I looked a lot different. I was a hot mess. <laughs> okay, stop moving because the Wi-Fi look like is I can't I can't trust it. What's your name, honey? It's Ronnie Nicole. Ronnie Nicole, where are you calling me from? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. How old are you? 34. 34. What you do for a living? I'm a property manager. Property manager. You have any children? Three. Three? How old are your kids? 14, almost 11, and 8. Um, all by the same man? No, two different men. Have you ever been married? I was. When did you get divorced? 2018. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, Nicole, when's your Ronnie, right? Yeah. <laughs> How do you say it? It's Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Virgo. Virgo. So this is Ronnie Nicole, Cincinnati, 34, is a Virgo property manager. Three kids, 14, 11, and eight. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Well, I'm here for an update because I was here before. Okay, what's your update? So um, I had like probably 16 different men. I know that they are going to come for me, Kendra, because you're on YouTube and you're on Facebook right now, and that's fine. Um, but I'm going to tell my story. Um, I had about 16 different men hit me up. One of them got my attention, one of them. Um, he didn't even meet all of my qualifications, but I gave him a chance. Um, and now I'm blocked and I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, so you guys were talking and he just blocked you? Yeah, we actually met. He drove. He All right, so look, I've been commenting that. Well, your, driver... your camera's cutting your head off, so bring the camera down. I have forehead, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what happened? You went on a date. So he is actually a truck driver, right? And so I've, I've been commenting a lot lately that truck drivers shouldn't be allowed on here. I've been a hater. <laughs> that might be why I got blocked. Um, but he actually, like, had a route, like, with me in between. So he stopped and met me. Um, Did y'all have sex? Yeah. And then he blocked you after you had sex with him? After multiple times, and then we even talked after that. Multiple times I had sex, multiple times at one time, or y'all met up more than one time? More than one time. So how many times did y'all meet up? Twice. Why you have sex with him the first time you meet him? I shouldn't have, I know. And he blocked you? Yeah. And you don't know why? No, he won't tell me why. And look, when I was on here, it's really sad, Kendra, because when I was on here, I had told you the story. I, I was on Facebook. I told you the story about the guy from Detroit, right? I don't you remember, remember any story. So tell me like you're talking to me for the first time. So I went, I went to Detroit. A guy went with me. He didn't talk to me when we got back. He was still with his baby mom. Okay. So this guy, I feel like he did the same exact thing. Like, why Why'd did you, you set yourself me? up to be in the same situation? I did. I set myself up. I know. Stop blaming the men and you guys start taking responsibility on how you are participating in these situations. He probably don't got to talk to you no more. He got what he wanted. He had sex with you twice. You know, what would be, and if he don't want more than that, what would be the reason to keep on a conversation? Yeah, it's rude. Yeah, it's fucked up. But that's how you treated yourself in this situation. You're right. And you told me not to do situationship stuff whenever I wanted a relationship. And you said that a few times. I get that. I get that. I get that. Now, two, I was being very naive because this man all about you know, everything that he was, but it was not very appealing to me because it was like a constant thing with him. Like he was better than me or something. Um, and I and you still slept with him. So you didn't even like him that much. And you still gave him something. At first, at first, but then it seemed like he was like, he wasn't okay with my life. Bring the cameras down. You keep getting cut off. So how long did you guys know each other? How long did you guys talk for? Um, a few weeks before he came over. So when did you realize he blocked you? Um, so it was probably a week or so after the second time I seen him. Listen, I love, I'm a girl's girl, but y'all be playing yourselves. The men don't even got to play y'all. Totally y'all play yourselves. And I told you they were going to come for me. And this is definitely my fault. It definitely, definitely is my fault. I don't know if you was coming on like it was your fault because you came on not like in a sense of being the victim. You said he blocked you. You don't know why he blocked you. I don't know why he blocked me, but I shouldn't have made the decisions that I made either. If I wanted, 
different reactions out of the men that I'm trying to date or whatever it may be. I have to make different actions myself. And I do understand that. Yes. I so do. let's try this again. Do you want to meet somebody new? Yes. But I listen, listen, I need somebody that's 100% exclusive. Um, girl, you demand men rise to the occasion of what you require. So either if you require something, either the guy that is for it is going to rise to the occasion or he's not like standards are just rules that you live by. You don't have to pose them on anybody because either they're going to rise to the occasion or not going to rise to the occasion. And either way, it won't make, it wouldn't make no difference to you because the ones who don't rise to the occasion, thank God. So you don't got to waste your time. True. You're, so you're, you want a guy that wants to be exclusive. So definitely, definitely wants to be exclusive. And I don't want to take my time, but I don't want to rush things either. Um, what I does realize, that even mean? You don't want to take your time, but you don't want to rush things. No. Like, I, I don't want... So when I was here before, I said for two and a half years, I was actually celibate. I wasn't with anybody. And I messed that up for myself last year, Okay. I did that. I actually got in a relationship. Oh, that year. might, that might be. Okay. So with this guy, you just slept with, you were celibate for two years before you like, no, years. no, no. I messed that up last year. Um, but this one would be the second one since then. Okay. So I think it was kind of a craving for me. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I think it was more. Of no, a I think the first one. Yeah. I mean, still it is what it is, but I could understand that. Yeah. But Okay. So are you on a celibacy journey? Are you resetting? Um, I can't say that I'm exactly resetting, but it's going to take time. It's going to okay. take time. Okay, you for want sure. a guy that wants to be exclusive. What else? Yeah. Somebody who um, is going to be for me, you know, like I'm, I'm real. I always say who I am. I don't hide anything. I don't portray to be something that I'm not. Um, so if I tell you something, if we're having a discussion or anything like that, you come around me, you don't like something, let me know that. I don't know if there was a turnoff that happened when, whenever I met this guy, I don't know what it was. Um, but you know, if there's anything about me that you don't like, just let me know, just keep it real with me because I'm always going to be real. I could have came on here front and saying that I just met the perfect guy ever. No, that's not the case. That's not the case whatsoever. I admitted my faults, but okay. So somebody who's exclusive, somebody who's going to be for me, somebody who's honest, somebody who's obviously not going to be childish and just block somebody out of nowhere. I mean, I'm in my mid thirties now, so definitely not what I need. Been married, divorced. Like I believe in blocking people. I, I block I, people. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I mean, I understand that people. Well, sometimes I, mean, I feel like I'm blocking my blessings, Kendra. Here's the thing. In your case, I understand, but and I don't block people easily, but I'm definitely the if I, I don't like art, listen, I don't got time for it. If I don't told you something and you couldn't honor it, I'm not explaining myself no more. So I'm a person that actually believes in blocking. And I actually think more people should block people because it will stop you from going in circles with the same individual. So, but I think, I understand how you're saying it's childish because some people do want explanations, but sometimes I would say block a person and keep it moving. But that's just my own personal thoughts on it. Does the guy have to look a certain way? Yes. Um, I obviously like black men. That was discussed on the first show, too. Um, okay. I like darker men. Um, I prefer... What's your ethnicity, to be clear? Like, I'm sorry? What's your ethnicity, to be clear? I'm, I'm Caucasian. Okay. Would you date a Caucasian man? Um, I was married to one. My All of my kids are. How many? Oh, you have three kids. All your kids are Caucasian. Yep. So when did you start dating black men? I did before I was married and then after I was married. <laughs> okay, got you, got you. So now, would you date a man of another race or black men only? I would, and just like before, um, I just prefer a black man. I probably won't, I won't be as attracted to you if you're not a black man, I don't feel like, but I can be attracted to you. Um, attractions aren't solely based off of looks to me either. Okay, okay. Does he gotta make a certain amount of money? Uh, yes, yeah. I said 50 to 80,000. I don't require too much. Um, the last guy he made a lot, like the guy that I had met or whatever, he made a lot of money. And that's where I felt like there was a big difference there. Like he thought he was maybe better or something. Oh, the last guy made 80 K. No, he made more than that. He made probably 300 to 500. This is the guy that you talked to for two weeks. The one that I, that messaged me from your show. So he made 300 to 500. Probably, this is the one yeah. you have sex, huh? 
Most likely, yeah. I, I don't know the exact figure, but very close. Okay. And this is the one that blocked you? Yep. Has he been on the show or he was just watching the show? No, he watches your show. We used to watch your show together all the time. I would screen share. We would, I would put you on my TV, like always watch your show. So I'm sure he's watching right now. And it's funny because before he blocked me, I sent him a Snapchat request and he hadn't accepted it. And then after he blocked me, he accepted it. So he is on my Snapchat, but I, I don't post a lot, a lot on there. So you block me. I don't know you either. Snapchat, all that. Yeah, like I don't, I haven't tried, I haven't attempted to talk to him or anything. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the way you should move with that one. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, um, let me get it set up. I hope that it it works. Last time Some people don't, don't believe Kendra Cousins that this man made that much. So you don't know how much he made, but you're saying around he was, owner, that he was an owner operator over the road trucker, and I'm and he had some other things going on, so I'm sure he made quite a bit of money. Okay, all yeah. right. Okay. Oh, oh, you got a booty. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do, she said. Yes, I do. Last time, so I was on Facebook. I had a messy bun. I had sweatpants on. Um, I had mentioned my kids loving your outfits and they came for me for the Kendra kids, but yet people come with their kids in the background. I'm like, what? <laughs> Girl, there'll be all types of kids on this show, child. I know, I know. <laughs> Why ain't going to actually last time you was intimate with someone? Because you already told us that. Um, would you consider that guy a relationship? No, or would you? Uh, I don't know. Only because, like I said, there was like a, I think that there was a status difference there. If it could have worked out, he's very handsome and he, he will be great for the right person, but. Okay. Um, so now why do you think you're single, Ronnie? Um, well, for a long time again, you know, I was celibate for two and a half years. Uh, the person that I got into a relationship last year stole and lied to me. Um, so I've been very selective. And then obviously I've tried to date two people this year and it has not worked in my favor whatsoever. <laughs> okay. It hasn't worked in her That's favor. That's my choices. I mean, it's because of my choices though. Okay. Man, my inbox is blowing up. Okay. Kendra. Okay. No, I don't know if I like it. Well, I you came back up here to get the attention, like girl. <laughs> last question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, mama? So, um, you know, I, I, I'm kind of a homebody. I used to be out a lot, not even out in the clubs or anything like that, but just seeing a lot. But I'm a homebody. I go to work. I come home. I take care of my kids. Um, I'm very loving. I'm very caring. Uh, I like to be spoiled, but I will spoil you just like you spoil me. Um, you know, I said on, on Facebook, you know, I, I'm that girl that goes out and buys the sneakers and the lineups. You don't got to pay for my nails. I got that, but you know, I'll get you together. It's actually how I got my ex-husband was a pair of Jordans. Um, <laughs> so, um, I can cook. I don't cook a lot though. I will tell you that if you meet me, um, I wish I did cook more, but my work schedule and I commute for work. So by the time I get home, it's, it's usually later in the evening. My kids are at my mom's house. But I do enjoy to cook. If I had a man at home every night, I would come home and cook. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Ronnie Nicole, Cincinnati. Does he have to be in Cincinnati? Um, no. And I'm open to really anywhere. But with me wanting something exclusive and me really wanting to try for a serious relationship, I would prefer him to be like Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, Ohio, within like a five-hour drive. Even... Um, you know, Chicago, I, I love Chicago. It's one of my favorite places. Um, so even Chicago is only four hours from me. Uh, Gatlinburg, Nashville is about five. So Okay. Um, and you don't care if the guy has kids. You're 34. Do you want more kids? Um, I cannot have more kids. Um, and I hate every day that I took that away from myself. Um, I actually How had did you to take it away? Um, because I didn't want any more kids with my ex-husband. So what did you do? I got my tubes tied. Okay. But... Um, let me say too, that my 14 year old, I had surgery to get pregnant with her. Um, so I'm not opposed to having surgery again, if I found a good enough man. Okay. I got you. Like I don't live on assistance or anything like that. So I can clearly support my children. Um, but I'm not going to have another child with a man that, that I'm not going to spend the rest of my life with. I can tell you that. And I only yeah. have about five more years to do that. Cause I'm, I'm pushing 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Ronnie Nicole, Cincinnati, 34, Virgo, property manager, 
three kids. I don't think you're a bad woman um, at all. I just think you I might make bad choices. Bad. Look, I make very impulse choices, Kendra. I watch your show all the time, and I'm one of those cousins in the comments giving everybody hell. And then I look at my situations like I just turned around and did that same shit. Like, why did I turn around and do the same thing? <laughs> I love that even though you're, you're transparent, you're honest, you're learning, but I just think you have to make different decisions for different results. And I always say this, everybody's grown. Like this is 21 or older show. So you can be grown and do as you desire, but just own up to the consequences of it and don't act oblivious. There are like, cause I mean, yes, it's always easy to blame the guy. And there are some guys who lie and play tricks, but there's some guys who don't even lie to you. And you yeah. still give them all that they don't deserve. And then you get mad. But you got to get mad at yourself in those cases, not at the man. And, and look, and, and like I said, if this man is watching, because even if he's blocked, he's still going to see me. Because first and foremost, we're on YouTube. You know, you're just streaming on Facebook. But I do wish him the best of luck. I even told him that. Like, wish him the best of luck. Because he was a really good guy. Okay. All right, Ronnie. Well, keep me posted how it goes. Well, I pray it goes well. I can't come on your show for a third time. No, you came on my show twice. Huh? You came on twice. I know I'm on here the second time, but I can't come on the third time to give you an update if something changes. No. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get married or you get into a committed relationship. I will definitely update you at that point because it's going to yeah. be like heaven you for me. You get two times to come on. The third time would have to be you're in a relationship that you want to share. But you can't Absolutely. come on for a third time to try it all over again. No, absolutely. I understand okay. that. I, I give it, give everybody their chance. <laughs> All right. Bye, baby. Thank you so much. We love you, Kendra. I love you back. Bye, boo. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. All right.